Hey guys, John from JohnMarieHeadshots.com here. Um, my video today was supposed to be about fear and then I completely forgot to do it and then Strawberry Gate happened. So I'm going to talk about that instead. Why people are getting angry over the strawberry situation. Fucking strawberries, lads. Four weeks ago, three weeks ago, everybody was going crazy buying every toilet roll in the supermarket. Everybody was going crazy getting into these mass queues. People were standing outside Beshoff's and Hote, a fish and chip restaurant. Takeaway, just in massive, massive, massive queues to get fish and chips. People were going to pubs because the pubs were going to be closing and everybody was trying to pile into the pubs at the same time. And these are the same people now that are complaining that migrant workers are, not even migrant workers, transient or temporary workers are being brought in from uh, Romania and they're being brought in from Bulgaria, places that have very, very low infection rates to work. Even though those jobs were offered to Irish and English people, and they didn't take them. So let's ignore the fact that people have been brought in because everybody likes to say that they're here to complain about infection control and complain about the fact that people aren't taking this seriously, even though they're the same people who are still going out in their droves and going to the climbing mountains and going and hanging around at lakes and trying to get themselves down onto the beach where there's hundreds and hundreds of people. So let's ignore that. Let's talk about what's actually going on. You're at home and you're bored and you're angry and you're complaining and your business might be going under and you still have bills to pay even though the government is only giving you a very, very small amount of money every week. Hmm. Maybe that's the reason you're angry and not because people are being brought in. If you want, what you could do is you could go and you could work for Keelings or you could work for these strawberry places. You could work in their warehouses, you could work in their factories. You know, they are offering jobs. But you don't want to do that because you're happy enough to get your 350 euro a week because you've been laid off because of the coronavirus. So you're going to stay at home and you're going to complain about everything. You're going to complain about the noise the kids are making. You're going to complain about pretty much everything that's going on around you because you're angry. And because you're stressed out and because that is the source of your issue. Source of your issue is not strawberry gate. You know, this is the same thing as the toilet rolls a few weeks ago. It's the same thing and it's going to be a constant over the next while, while everybody is under stress, while the economy is trying to bounce back, while businesses are failing, people are trying to get their jobs back. There's potential for you to go out and get a job in a supermarket. All of the supermarkets are hiring. You don't have to sit at home. You can go out and get a job there. You can get a job in, you know, in Keelings picking strawberries or blackberries or anything else that's in season at the moment. People seem to think that when you walk into Tesco's, that's where that bread grew. It grew on that shelf. Those strawberries, those bananas, all of that stuff just grows out of baskets that's in supermarkets. I think it's time people start getting a grip and listen to yourself. If you're stressed, you're stressed and you're taking it out on everybody else. So when you're on Facebook and you're ranting and you're raving and you're screaming and you're abusing people over the fact that they've come into this country or they've come into the UK to work, well then, you know, start looking at yourself. You should have maybe taken that job, you know, instead of sitting at home watching Netflix. So, look, I have my own business, I have my own stresses, so do everybody else. We're all in this together, every single one of us. So don't be taking it on everybody else. It's not Keeling's fault that they're trying to save their business the same way everybody else is. Supply chain is still there. We still need to eat. And unless you're growing your own strawberries or you're growing your own fruit and vegetables, you're going to still have to buy it from a supermarket where it still has to come from a supplier and somebody still has to pick it. If you're not going to pick it and I'm not going to pick it, somebody has to pick it, otherwise we can't eat it. Grow up here.